You moved back to Michigan at some point around something wild. Yeah, 86, yeah. 86. Well, that was right around the time. Didn't it, Didn't some GQ article come out where the, you were the next Cary Grant and you'd had these three films and, and the inside is you uh, on a dock in Michigan with your guitar. And from the outside, I look at that and I go, he really had a larger philosophy about the way he wanted to live his life. Did you know what you were doing or, or were you running from something? Both. Both. I didn't know it at the time, but both. I never bought whatever you had to do in L.A. to sustain a movie career, which included going to parties and, and introducing yourself to producers, um, going to other people's premieres just to be seen. I could not do that, would not do that. I honestly didn't think the career would last. I was a fatalist. And, and part of it was, when you're from the Midwest, you have a really good bullshit detector. You, there's a, not a simplicity to them, but there's an honesty. Why don't you get to the point? Quit trying to impress me. So that was entrenched in me. Add to New York, 10 years off Broadway, where we are not actors, we are artists. And LA and movies are bupkis, I was told. And that's artistically where I grew up. So I ain't buying what Hollywood was selling. So I just want to be known as a really good actor. I'm a hired gun. One of the reasons was a very deathly fear of that kind of Hollywood success. People crash and burn. What was the worst case scenario like in your mind of what that looked like? You lose your wife, you lose your family, you're on your third marriage, uh, your career fizzles out, you're just as popular as you were in that movie that was really good eight years ago and now you can't resurrect your career. You end up being an action star and then you get 45 years old and now you don't look like you used to do. So now you're having plastic surgery, now you're trying to retain that brand of action star that you do that makes you so much money. But that's not, re you're just repeating yourself, you're not really an actor, you're not really doing what I was set out to do and what I can do, so fuck it. I'm gonna back it all up, risk losing it all. I just wanted to be an actor. I didn't want to be a star. That's all I'm trained to do. I'm not trained, to, I didn't go to star school. I don't know how to do that. I'm not interested in that. But I will be a really good actor. That's the only part of this that I'm interested in. Once they say cut, and then you've gotta do all this other stuff, red carpets, that, that is so important out here. It's, it means nothing to me.